Hi there, it's Shell and Clint. Hey guys. <laughs> we are going to, I think, uh, finish the journal cover. <laughs> so all we need is a tie, which I almost forgot. And so I started with this one. Let me grab my scissors so I can keep my arm. Okay. And I'm using that really crinkly seam binding. And I just love this stuff. I can't remember who I got it from, but if you guys are interested, let me know and I'll put a link below. And then I'm going to sew that on. Um, I had the stuff ready to go for to sew in my signatures, and then I was thinking, uh oh. <laughs> Still have to sew that. So let me find. A uh, ruler, which Clint's not over there, and so I have to climb over here. Okay. Mine's my, uh, my, right there, babe. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Thought I was going to have to climb behind his chair and everything. Uh, the one I wanted was right beside me, and I didn't even see it. Okay, so guys, we are going to. Um, I'm going to show you this. This one is about 9 by 14. So I typically like mine about six. Uh, if I do six and a half, six and a half, that gives me. So I'm going to do six and a quarter on each one. So, but um, yeah, what we do is just going to use my ruler. Move some of my junk out of the way here. <laughs> and then I put it at six and a quarter. So right here, and then we're going to fold that up, and that's how I get the spine to my books with this, you know, I just want to make sure it's six. If I wanted it a little bit thicker, then, you know, I could just do it at six inches, but I found out that my uh, spines are too big <laughs> at, you know, like a two inch spine. So I'm just doing six and a quarter. But that will give me, what, an inch and a half, which is perfect. So, and then we yeah, are going to... Oh, good, you did it correctly. Yeah, for sure. If you guys look, I wasn't right on my geese. Your geese, you weren't? No, they're were okay. supposed to look like this. See how there's that extra... Oh. See, I made, when I did, I made the huh. two squares the same size. But this one I made... One four inch and the other four and a half inch. So oh, that's interesting. Yeah. So I did oh, get good. it right. So. He's working on another one for the TN, the TN that I'm going to so. do, um, kind of using these same colors and stuff. So, uh, okay. He was excited. Happy about that now. I got it right. <laughs> so. Yeah, we're going to. Yeah, I'm excited. About so I still have papers left over from paper pads that I use to make these journals. So I save one or two of them and make a TN oh. at the same time I make a main journal, you know, like a larger journal. That way I don't have tons of leftovers and stuff. Oh, wow. So is your iron still on? Yes, it's still Okay, on. I am going to go press this real quick. That way we have really good um, crease and I'll be right back. Okay, so we did get that. And now I'm going to actually, I'm going to... Do it like this, I think. Where's my other one? Oh, probably right there, huh? Do you want to sew these on? I can if you need to, but hold on. Let me put a. Um, yeah. I can. I, I can glue them on and stuff. I just you need. Make sure you put them in the center. <laughs> Here you go. No, you do it. Be four and a half, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, he's such a pain. No, I'm not. Trust me, everyone thinks it. <laughs> One, two, three, four, and a half. So about right there. Thank you. <laughs> I was fixing to measure it, old brat. You guys know he's a pain, don't you? Sure, let's see the look you do. That's because they all know, though, that you're a pain. Now I want it to be right. I can't help it. That's the culture. 
I thought you were going to say that's the analness in me. <laughs> I just thought about it, but I thought it's like that. Yeah, no, okay. <laughs> I'm going to measure it from this one, two, three, four and a half. Just in case I kind of measured it, you know. Off, at least. They'll off, be they'll be the same, yeah. So are those the right ones? Yeah, okay. Just felt like one was a little bit um, longer, but I think it's just because the stretchiness. Well, if it is, they can always trim it. Well, or I can. So I'm going to pass this over to Clint, and he is going to sew those together for me because we forgot to do it earlier. Thank you. Mm -hmm. He has his machine, and it's better, like, through the binding and all that, because it's a bunch of layers. And mine's not so good. Mine's not so good. Or was that it? I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. So, while he is doing that, we are going to add a couple of envelopes and just more interesting pages in here. I felt like it kind of needed that. So, I am going to kind of figure out where I want this envelope but isn't that pretty it kind of looked to me like a watercolor and it was just kind of springy and just fun so I think I'll put that in here and I think on the other side I might put a piece of paper yeah I was trying to figure out what that sound was uh oh oh there's your little well, guy hi, Carl. where was you laying at I like so. for you. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Hold on, honey. Let me finish this and then we can work. Daddy. Daddy, what are you doing, Hi, Daddy? Mr. Oh, I, I know. Oh, he's so cute. Hold on, baby. <laughs> well, he is chatting, isn't he, Daddy? Oh, I love you, baby. So it's going to come out Almost a little too far. Well, it might be okay, actually. I think that will. So what I'm going to do is kind of glue this. I like the outside of it. So I'm going to glue that and kind of extend it. And I'm just going to glue it all down. Well, this gonna, part. Hang on quick. Oh, he's helping. Daddy's little part. Told him he wanted to help. It's so cute. It looks like he's sitting on his lap and he's like up against the sewing machine. It's so cute. So cute. Watch your nose, babe. <laughs> so then that will um, kind of hold that down. And I love that. I think that's so fun. And then that will go Mama. right here. And it will extend it. And then this will kind of pop out like that. Maybe I, can't do that I think it'll be okay. If not, we'll refold it. I might need to. Is he okay there? Mama. Let's fold it in half. Maybe honey. Oh, he's like <laughs> sitting in the sewing machine. He's like, no, Daddy. Bar, come on. I need love and Daddy. Let me sew it real quick. I need love and Daddy. I know, honey. We'll love, baby. We'll love. Hold on. Let me just finish sewing it, baby, and we'll love. Okay. The other little one, he is sound asleep but it, I looked over just to see if he would um, be telling daddy too oh it's time to love on daddy for some reason they both kind of pop up at the same time they do don't they <laughs> okay so then the other one I just got like a simple one figured we could decorate it so that would be fine but I kind of want to do the same thing let me grab this one maybe that was kind of fun okay mama it's your turn you're gonna have to trim it i there's no way i can even do it oh okay oh you're already thread. done yeah oh okay cool do you need my scissors no i got them nice i need to put a little bit of glue probably huh? oh come here well if you heat it it would no it wouldn't because on the outside <coughs> there's no bond or anything oh yeah that's true <laughs> I love you too, honey. There you he had to love on the baby. You guys know, whenever they need love, we kind of just stop and love on them. 
what we do here. Yes. Yeah, we do, don't we? Unless I'm in the middle of like a watercolor or something. Yeah. <laughs> then we're like, you guys need to leave us alone. <clears throat> Sophia's been like, she's still been, I know she's just showing love and stuff, but yeah. yeah. I'll go ahead and put a little more. I just don't want those to come off. Is she on the porch? I looked for you, but I didn't see you. Was he behind the TV? No, because it no. came from the kitchen. Oh. It came from behind. There we go. So that's nice. And then let me do this one. And then I'm going to go ahead and just kind of do it the same way. And then this one will have to think what I'm doing. Okay, like that. Okay. And you could leave this open for like a little tuck spot or something. I'm just gluing it down. And that way it will just kind of go in there better, I think, yeah. Okay, so let's see where I want to put that one. Mm, maybe between. More colors, maybe. That's kind of fun. There we go. So I felt like it needed some more interest. So, and then I also pulled these little tiny um, ledger pages just because they're kind of light and I thought they would be fun. But I do like to put different sizes in my journals because I feel like it just adds more interest, you know, instead of just, mm -hmm. just some plain, plain. And we'll be doing quite a bit of decorating too, oh, so. So that will add a lot. And then I got one for both. Maybe there. I like the ribbons. I think they're really fun. Yeah. The seam binding? Or the what? Oh, the edges. Isn't that pretty? I love that. Yeah. I think it looks good. So I think I was going with the pink. Okay. So we have our thing here. I do have a binding or a template. And I'm just going to use the two middle ones. It's it's got a good length and it's got a good width if I use that one. So we're going to do that. Or I could use like two of them. Let me see. Yeah, if I do the two on one side. So your positive journal, is that just once a week? Just whenever I feel like doing something positive, writing something positive. But I'm trying to do at least once a week. Yeah, so least. yeah, that's... Oh, I haven't heard it beep though, have you? It hasn't, no. Oh, okay. I can't go beep. What? My positive thing? So, and I'm just going to put one there oh. and one here. Just using a black pen, because you're going to go right through it with... Um, when you punch your holes. So, there we go. Looks pretty good. I just like to make sure it's pretty lined up and everything looks good. That looks good to me. It's really simple. If you don't have a template, it's pretty simple to to make one. Uh, there's tons of videos out there. I've made several videos on how to make them. And so if you need to know more about it, then let me know. And I'm using an old phone book. You know what those are, right, guys? Phone book. <laughs> you guys know what a phone book is? <laughs> I was reading an Amish book earlier, and um, the guy said, oh, his cell phone wouldn't work, and he broke down in the Amish community, and he's like, can I borrow your phone? And then he's like, do you have a um, phone book? And she said, oh, yeah, it's about a year old. And he's like, oh, good, you know, it's not that old. 
He goes out there and it's eight years old. <laughs> and all the numbers he was calling, it was, um, they were out of order. He did find one that was in order, but the rest of them were, they were all outdated, you know. <laughs> he was like, oh no. I had to call a tow truck, so it's kind of funny. I thought it was funny that she's like, oh yeah, and he's like, oh no, he can't look it up on his cell phone because he didn't have any service. And I thought it was funny when they said it was, uh, the phone book wasn't just a year old, it was eight years old. <laughs> I guess that's what you'd have to look at. This one was two, is about two years old. <laughs> yeah, they give us every year. Yeah, they give them, we get them every year. Some people use them like to put their extra paint in and stuff, kind of like to kind of use them that way. Mm. And then this, we're going to make sure we're at the top. And I always put top on my thing. And then line it up. And then I'm just going to put the three little dots. So what I did is I flipped through, make sure everything is going in the right direction. And you want to go through the whole piece because if you don't, then it never fails that your fabric flipped end up ended up being upside down because you didn't check it. <laughs> Trust me. That's Trust me, I know. <laughs> it's happened to me a lot. <laughs> I used to just go through the front of them, then I was like, ah, oh, better start. Yeah, after I had to cut it out, flip it over, and all that good stuff, I was like, oh, okay. You want to make sure it's in a pretty good V so you can get your holes punched straight. So, very simple. Once you get the hang of it, it doesn't take long. Uh, the first time was takes forever, but by the time you're done 50 or 60 of them, yeah, it doesn't take that long. <laughs> Cut your, your thread or your twine three times the length of your signature. I'm going to use a dull needle because... Well, that way it doesn't take it, make its own path. Oh, you know what I didn't do? No. That was going to be the back. Let me see if I can make this. Okay, I think it's lined up okay. I forgot my um, cover. I wanted one, a piece to be on the back. Yeah, I think the fabrics turned out really cool. And you know, we didn't have anything in mind other than I wanted a light, I always go to the bottom hole, a light, um, there it is. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, sorry. Just remember which way I'm going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So you're going to hold the center, and then you're just going to go right back down in the center. So that... And then... Here... But yeah, it seems to take everyone for like an hour to do the first one. And then after you've done a lot, it doesn't take that long. <laughs> kind of get the hang of it. Okay. So then you're going to put it underneath the strand there. I'm going to take my needle off. Give it a tug. And then I always look to make sure it's really well in there, it feels like it's a little bit loose. So give it another tug, and then just tie it. I typically hang charms off mine, but we'll see. We'll see if we decide to do that this time or not. <coughs> so, and then that one is in there, and then do the other one, same thing. Like I said, I just kind of go through it just to make sure everything's going the right way. <laughs> and 
and you can move it up or down, you know, depending on what you're looking for. You know, make sure you like all the pages the way they're put in. But see if I didn't look at that. You wouldn't know from this side if you didn't have a fabric flip on there that it was going the right way. So, you know, you might not be like, if this was a fabric flip, it could easily just go on the bottom and flip upwards. So you kind of want to double check on both sides. At least that's what I always do. And then I just kind of make sure it's all lined up. Click. Actually, that one is kind of... Then you want to just kind of press it down and make sure it's kind of, you know, really good in the middle without a bunch of um, room. And I usually just use three clips, but you can use whatever you want. Make sure it's going up. <laughs> That's another thing I forget. Okay, I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, it is. Double check there, and then I just put that put a little dot there, there, and there. And then you're, again, you're gonna do it into a V, punch right on those little. <coughs> don't do it into the you have a tendency to kind of come out the side. yeah to the side of it and if that happens just like instead of it being perfectly here it'll be just slightly to the side like it might come out here if that happens just put it back together and go straight down and that will kind of cover up that the side hole will kind of work itself out and it'll be fine so again, we're going to take our thread, go three lengths, that's always a good rule of thumb. This big chunk of hair, Sophia. Um, where's my needle? There it is. And then we'll go right in the center. And then I always go to the bottom. I don't know why. It's just a habit. Go to the bottom. Sometimes it takes a little bit. Go back in the center. And then go ahead and use your needle to kind of go underneath this one right here. Um, if you use your finger, it really loosens it up and it just does better with your, with your needle. Give it a tug. And then again, I always just double check, make sure everything is good and, and snug. This is a waxed linen, and I, that's the best I found. Um, I think I have it linked below if you're looking. But I did have another one, and it had a tendency to break. And then once I got this, it was like so much less stress. <laughs> and we have a book, which is always the exciting part. So, 
Yeah, so there's our book. Yeah, and there's plenty of room here for um, decorating and stuff. Now, if I was really going to decorate it a lot, I would have done a, um, just kept the two inch spine and then kind of made it, um, just put in tons of decorations. But it's so thin now anyways that I figured I'm going to have more than enough room. So, let me put all this stuff up and I'll be back. Okay, so like I said, we have everything done. There's a couple of pieces I know right away that I want to put in here, and they are these. Not sure which one. I did pull some of these. I recently got these um, on Amazon or Etsy, and I thought they went perfectly with this journal. So. I know there was one on the fabric flip. This is my favorite part, is kind of, you know, decorating. <laughs> but like this one, I thought these would just be kind of fun to decorate with. Did you ever find my scissors? Mm -hmm. hmm. You got me on the table. Honey, Clint I lost my scissors. Oh, whatever. <laughs> They're on the table. Dude. Mm, are they? They have to be. I only used them in Oh. I brought them he back. used them. That means he lost them. Oh, whatever. No, you did. Yeah, what comes around this <laughs> Huh. I would never lose your scissors. Mm hmm <laughs> So, I just thought these were really cute, and I thought I'd use them in here. as a kind of finishing touch for the belly bands and the fabric flips. You can see this one already had one and I think that's what I, why I was thinking of it. So I need my other signature. <coughs> but I really wanted one here and I was going to put the pink one but I already used that one. So let's see about one of the blue. Oh, that one's really pretty. I can want the other one. And I'm just <coughs> using my art glitter glue to glue these in. On. I mean, I could put it over there, but I just feel like it needs it right there. So we're going to do that. Hope you guys are doing well. Still Sunday night here. Sunday afternoon, I guess. And, uh, trying to get a little bit of a ahead. Last week I felt like I was behind all week, which, you know, we had so much going on. So I'm just kind of trimming that. It's kind of bugging me. But I really like the button kind of peeking out and stuff. That's really cute. And then this is a fabric flip, so you can, um, journal underneath it. I think that's really fun. I like that. Let's see if the belly band needs something. can't really remember. Oh, definitely. So, which one did I just use? I think I used the bluer one, didn't I? Yeah. So let's use this one here. Just for some fun. I like these. These are really fun. Thanks, Nora, for getting me hooked on them. <laughs> these flowers. Oh, yeah. Hooked on flowers. <laughs> so that's, that's really fun. But I knew that I felt like they were um, <coughs> too empty anyways. This is a belly band, so you... I'll put like a postcard or a journaling card or something there. But I really like those. I think they're fun. Isn't that pretty fabric? I love that. But it's so funny when Clint and I first, I was telling him the colors I wanted, we went out and looked in our shed. And I mean, these colors are just so perfect for this journal. Oh, they are. I really I like them. I think they're really, fabric. no, we really had fun with these. Yeah, it has been a lot of fun. 
Yep. So, I wonder where my, um, let me look. Right over, oh wait, maybe it's in here. I wonder where those, here they are. One right here. I'm going to show you how it's going to make those into fabric. Um, where's the other one? Here it is. Into um, paper clips. Oh, my brain. So I'm going to show you that. So we did have a skunk visit the other day. Yeah. <laughs> so somebody told me to put mothballs out and I um I have like netting from a potato bag. So I think I'm gonna put some in there tonight. Yeah. Mothballs because I I did get some but we haven't put them out. And uh try that and see if he doesn't, you know, doesn't come back. Leave us alone. Because man, that yeah, you don't sleep very well when there's skunk essence in the nope. <laughs> in the room. Not at all. <laughs> so we're gonna try that and just see. So this is like a book piece and I think it would be thick enough for this. Just gonna try it. I was just thinking, you know, I really want those to be paper clips. inside. Not too great. I just want to make it, you know, really sturdy. Make sure it doesn't fall apart. So really you just want like a hard stock or something, you know, of that thickness. And this one. <coughs> Yeah, he doesn't seem as sad. We're talking about um, Arctic. He's really, he hasn't been like being off to himself a lot like he had been. He's much better, I think, than he was. I think he missed, misses his sister. Oh yeah, it was. Anytime he heard you, he was in your yeah, lap, my, and, uh, and he really hasn't today, so that's that's you know, a positive thing. Yeah, I think he's only come up like two, three times. Oh wow. Yeah. Probably, I would think so. Well, it's still early. It's only three thirty. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to just glue that, make sure it's going in the right direction. And hopefully that will work for us, just kind of. This art glitter glue does work really good on fabrics. So. Yeah, it does. It's good stuff. Clint really likes it too. He's like, where's your glue? <laughs> yeah, I use my glue, you know, my, my base can glue a lot, but uh, with the binding, if I glue the binding on, I use that. It dries a little bit faster. It really does. So it gets easier. really tacky and yeah. Okay. This one. And I just put the small side, whatever the small side is, is the one I put on the paper clips. So, and I'm just putting up, you know, quite a bit of glue. I'm not being shy. I don't know that you need that much, but you know. And then I just go around and make sure my paper clips kind of coated. But I thought these would be really fun. And then I just want to make sure it's going in the direction I want it to go. I 
and then just like that. So, and then we'll pop those in our journal. Like I said, I like to put one in the front signature and then one in the back signature. And just like a, a page that I feel like really needs a little bit of decorating. So like this. And then I'll put maybe like a, um, a journaling card or something underneath. So isn't that cute? Like that. And then one in the back signature somewhere. Ooh, maybe there. But yeah, it, it grabs really well to that glue that fabric and stuff. So uh, the other thing I need to do is the paper pad that I'm using. So I have a couple of them in here, but like this one. There's a lot of cut-aparts in there. So I think I'm going to go ahead and end this video now. And then I'm going to go cut all of those out. And when we come back um, for tomorrow's video, we I'll have those so I can maybe make some pockets and stuff out of those. Because I really want to use them. I think there's like four pages of them. So I'm going to go ahead and call this one done. Uh, pretty simple how you sew in the signature and then, you know, um, change like fabric flips to hidden paper clips. That's kind of fun. So, yeah. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Hopefully, it is inspiring you. Thanks for watching. Be sure and hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out our channel. And we will see you guys in the next video. See you soon. Bye. Bye, right, guys. Thanks for visiting.